Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. I'm just going to share with you a few uh, screenshots from my Powerwall 2 app. Now, it's not obviously the perfect product, it's still very new and they're still ironing out some kinks, but I just wanted to share with you a couple of pet peeves from the Powerwall 2 in my experience so far. Now, this is a screenshot of my energy usage from yesterday, um, and nothing really annoys me more than seeing this. So, here overnight you've got the Powerwall 2 charging from the grid and then during the day it's exporting to the grid because it's reached 100% at about noon. Now that bugs me a little bit obviously because here I'm charging from the grid it's 16 and a half cents per kilowatt hour and then I'm exporting it back to the grid at 11 cents. So you know obviously it doesn't make sense to sell back to the grid at a lower price than you've bought it. Um, even though it's off pre peak it's still more expensive than um, selling, it, selling it back at a lower price. Now this occurred because I was using the cost saving mode which I'll bring up now. So the cost saving mode uh, says here use stored low cost energy to power your home when electricity is expensive and maximize your savings. I generally will use the setting in winter which we are currently in now especially when days where there's not much sun and there's quite a bit of cloud because it will charge overnight using uh, cheaper electricity and then discharging during the day when it's uh, more expensive. Uh, because there's balance mode as well, which I'll read to you. It says, use stored solar to power your home when electricity is expensive and after the sun goes down. One charge overnight, but uh, it might use the off-peak uh, power overnight, and then during the day it'll um, use the sun to charge the power or two, um, and then discharge at night time in the evening when it's more expensive. So what I'm going to do now is to actually look at the weather forecast, um, which is kind of what I've been doing, but I guess I've been a little bit lazy. I've just been using cost saving because it's easier just to leave it on one setting. But what I'm going to do from now on is, um, even in winter, if um, there's sunshine uh, coming up, I'm actually going to take it off cost setting um, and I'm going to put it on balanced mode. Um, that way, it's not going to charge from the grid overnight. I mean, it might use off-peak overnight but that's fine uh, as long as it's not charging and filling up with off-peak electricity um, for it to you know uh, get to a point and during the day when the solar power makes the battery go to 100 percent and then i've got to export the solar power back to the grid which um which doesn't quite make sense where it's uh, exporting at about noon so um as you can see yesterday 4.2 kilowatt hours went to the grid when that really could have gone to the power wall too instead of um it coming from the grid overnight. I hope that makes sense. Um, I know it's a little bit confusing, but um, just in summary, uh, in cost saving mode, just be careful. You've got a sunny day coming up because if you charge overnight there, then you're going to lose out here because it's going to export it back to the grid um, at a lower tariff than what you paid for over here. So my advice to you is, and to myself really, that if there are sunny days coming up like here, uh, I'm going to put it back on a balanced mode where it won't charge overnight, um, and it'll charge during the day with the solar power instead. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. Um, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please leave a comment, ask some questions. Uh, I'll try and clarify what I meant in this video. Um, obviously, you know, it's still it's still a new product, so the forecasting's still not perfect from the Powerwall 2 and from the server and from Tesla, and I'm still having to do some manual adjustments myself, which is fine. Um, I understand I'm... Um, one of the early adopters, and that's part of the deal, I guess, being an early adopter for a product like this. But, you know, as time goes on, the kinks will be ironed out. But uh, for now, this is my little hack for uh, sunny days in winter, just to uh, alter between cost-saving mode and balanced mode to maximize your Powerwall 2 usage. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in this world. And as always, happy charging.